All right, y'all, I hadn't done one of these, well, ever, I don't think, but I figured uh, it'd be kind of interesting for you guys to see a day in the life of a cattle rancher in April. I had to think what month it was there for a second, but yeah, kind of just follow me around for the day and see, see what we got going on. We are right in the middle of calving season still, so yeah, that's pretty intense, obviously. We're feeding some cows we're checking some calves maybe do a little fence fixing so i thought you guys would come along for the day and um and see what we got going on so let's ride first things first gotta get get on your muck boots and uh run down it's about seven o'clock well, before seven o'clock i usually try and get out there 6 30 or 7 but put on your old trusty muck boots i uh I hate these things eventually you know it's kind of fun beginning of winter when you put them on because they're nice and toasty and warm and then by april right now they just track in mud everywhere and your feet sweat and you just hate them but anyway it's still muck boot season so we're gonna get dressed and go and check some calves i usually like to check the calves go down make sure see who i got new uh that has not been tagged somebody that's been born throughout the night and uh, tag it first before we go down and disrupt everything with feeding hay to all the cows. Got the muck boots on and I uh, usually, a lot of guys haven't got quite to the old main rancher stage yet where I'm wearing my sweet overalls, but I do like to wear my chinks that I made. Um, just enough to keep your legs warm, pretty nice in the morning and light. And, hey, they go with the muck boots just so wonderfully. Look at that swag, okay? Nah, I pretty much live in these darn things. I tell you, they are, they help a lot with keeping your pants not so dirty and uh, not ripping your pants. And you'd be amazed with how quickly you can go through a pair of pants out here without wearing some kind of leg protection like these chinks. So, usually put on the chinks, the muck boots, the scarf, a hoodie, the old trusty line Wrangler jacket. I tell you, this thing been a darn good jacket i've had four of them now but been a good it's a good little setup this is what you need here in the rockies i would say you can always put more layers on or bigger scarf but that's what we're rocking with today and of course can't be can't be ranching right without your cow lot felt hat yes it is still felt hat season two folks but i tell you can't beat this old rodeo king black felt hat this thing has been a damn good hat so and you know what? For once, I don't have to wear my line gloves. I can just wear normal leather gloves. All right, let's go check some calves. Old Christy on the rancher. So usually first things first, I'll come down here and I got some cows and some calves that we've kind of dubbed this the nursery, but this is a smaller little pasture we have. And we'll try and, you know, somebody who needs a little extra attention or we're worried about a calf or want to give them a little bit of shelter, we'll let them have access to the shed. Um, so it's kind of just a little nursery area we got down here where they can have feed and water and everything else. But come down here and double check on everybody, make sure everybody down here is is doing good looks like the one I put in here yesterday is over there sleeping all right good deal we'll go check the rest of the herd now now to check the big herd should open the gate some more yep okay all right we made it it's a muddy mess out here Freaking snowed all night last night and the night before. It's okay, you're supposed to say, well, we needed it. We needed it. Well, the main thing here is just make sure everybody's good, happy, alive. Make sure it didn't have any complications with anybody calving. You just kind of go through an overall health check. I'm always, you know, aware of like stuff like that you would want to see go over and check that cow because you know why are you by yourself what are you doing over there are you calving do you have a new calf what's going on so just an overall shepherd kind of thing here you just 
looking over everybody, making sure everybody's healthy, nobody's sick, nobody had any trouble, or nobody's calving. Somebody could be calving right now and might need to go help them. So we'll go see what's going on over here. Hey, baby! They always sleep like that too, like they're half dead. Baby! There you go, see? See, he's good. Why do you guys sleep like that? Don't do that. Good to go. Alright. Everybody good and paired up down here? Is this the is this the cool kid pasture? Looks like it. Like I said, we're just doing an overall check. Uh, usually I come down before my dad comes down with the tractor and with the hay and everything else and kind of disrupts everything when you feed them. So uh, what we want to do is come down early in the morning like this, go through everybody while everybody's chilled out and bedded down and relaxed and with their baby. Um, like I said, everyone kind of just loses their mind when, when they uh, get fed first thing. So it's good to come down before the tractor and just go over everything. Make sure everybody's all right. This is a bunch of new calves in the last couple of days. Make sure they're doing okay. I was worried about this cow yesterday. That's a brand new calf there. She has a huge bag, but it looks like on the other side there, she's already been sucking, so, or he's already been sucking, so. That's good, we'll keep an eye on that one too, but overall, just going through everybody before we come down and disrupt everything. You don't gotta stand up yet, dude. You're cool. Just stay there. Let your mom lick you. Good job. It's a steaming baby right there. All right, the chicks are all done. Time to go feed some bovines. Everybody is down there staring at me like, hello. We would like some breakfast now, sir. So I got my cabin bag. Just in case we got some drama, we know what's going on, and then got my cup of coffee. So we're good to go here. for me said dude come on you're late man so right off the bat here we're just gonna get them started with a little bit of alfalfa and a little bit of good old grass hay Watch out, ladies. Come on, let me get the string off. Let me get the string. Lady, hey, excuse me. Move along here. Come on, lady, move. 
Thank you. I know y'all love this alfalfa, but you gotta get out of the way. Let me get the string off and I will feed it to you, okay? Can't forget to feed your bulls. Got these new bulls we just purchased the other day. Uh, kind of letting them chill out in the corral for a couple days so they kind of get used to humans. And, and uh... Buster, stop. Oh, shit. Hard to film in pitch hay at the same time. But got to get everybody fed. Nice show, happy bulls. We're waiting on about another bull the other day too, so we're waiting on to get this other bull and we can get all these guys branded and turn back out with everybody else. So gotta feed your bulls. Don't forget. You gotta have a whole team out here. You gotta gotta I think that cat thinks it's a border collie. And of course, can't have your your normal ranch day without some cat ranching. I guess I gotta feed my cat herd too. This one and this one. They're both just waiting for me. Y'all just waiting for me. They're like, dude, what about us? What about us? I got you, little buddy. Come here. Ugh. Go to your little home there. There you go, little homie. Get you some of that. There you go. There you go. Cat ranching. Well, still got to feed the other half of uh, the feeding routine here. Got to feed another bale this afternoon, but we've kind of been waiting uh, to feed that last bale in the afternoon just to kind of chill them out a little bit. But of course, had to go get, I uh, think we're going to go ahead and, and uh, I got the call from my buddy we bought these bulls from, and uh, we bought one more bull, so we're going to run out and grab that bull too. Um, Put him with the other bulls we fed this morning so we got our three new bulls in a pen together they can get used to each other so yeah let's go grab that bull and uh still gonna finish feeding i'm sure there's more stuff too but for now it's about three o'clock so let's do it merle hager hell yeah Yeah, that'd be fine. Sure. Real important stuff. Yeah, it's good. Hey, somebody's got to do it. I appreciate it. buddy. Come on, little buddy. You sniffed it. You can get in there. Come on. There we go. Welcome to your new home. Welcome to your new home. There you go. Welcome home, dude. All right, we're down here finishing last bale of the day. 
hungry bovines. You guys acting like I didn't feed you a bunch this morning. Come on now. And of course, to finish off the night, got to feed your bum calf his bottle of milk. That's just the usual. But I'd say overall, pretty good day. Got everybody fed. All the calves are good and fed and happy and healthy. Uh, for a couple of shitty days of weather, uh, things went all right. Got the new bull home and uh, overall successful day on the ranch. So I'm glad you guys were tuning in. Hopefully you got a little snapshot of an April day for a Colorado rancher. We will see you next episode.